That was unbelievably elegant. No, not just taking the first position, but timing it perfectly to 416 and the content and the visuals. This, this is setting the bar very high. Thank you, David. <laughs> Okay, um, so we're going to move along quickly, and also I would ask that all the presenters try to get in really cozy with the microphone as much as you're comfortable, because are you hearing it all at the back okay? No. So is this, is this okay? Can you hear it now? Okay, so you got to do your, you know, Chrissy Hind. I'm not going to say Mick Jagger, okay guys? You got to be Chrissy, for me, anyway. <laughs> And uh, so really get comfortable with the mic because you're going to be the big political change makers of your generation. you got to love this, Mike. Tonight is a big practice session. And this is a handy-dandy rack if you want to use it. But if you want to look at your slides, we're just going to cheat this stuff over here a little bit so you don't lose your audio, okay? So we're all set up. And we're ready for the next person. By the name of Justin Kozuk. Close. Close? What is it, Justin? See, I didn't waste my, my only question on pronunciation. Maybe I should have. But he's doing a presentation about information collection that I couldn't even understand the title, so thank God I'm here for the presentation. But it's something about remembering data, so I had to ask him if he remembered the phone number from when he was a 10-year-old. And he does. And let's say it together. 905-841-1000. What do you know? He's a genius. Welcome, Justin. Anybody want a mattress? Okay, so um, this is the presentation of my talk, Toronto's digital media industry, and how we're going to mobilize and gather statistical data on our industry. I love this city. Um, I've been living here for about five years now. There's so many great people. A lot of them are here tonight. Um, so thank you all for coming out and listening to me talk. Um, I don't love the city nearly as much as uh, somebody else who has a couch problem, but we're not going to talk about today. <laughs> what I am going to talk about is we have a little bit of a, a, little bit of a problem in our city, um, as I see it. Uh, there's this issue with uh, a lack of data around the digital media industry in Toronto. Uh, it's probably just as complex as this, and no, I don't know the answer. Um, so to, I took a look on the City of Toronto website, and I found that there's a series of reports that are available on the City of Toronto's digital media industry. But the problem is, is that the data goes back to 2003, which is quite a long time ago. So I found out that clear across the country, there were other cities uh, and other provinces that were doing similar studies, but their data is a lot newer. The uh, Calgary Economic Development ran the study in 2007 that talked about their digital media industry and had uh, some pretty interesting st statistics. All these, by the way, all these slides are going to make, make available. I'll release it later. Um, in 2007, the province of British Columbia, New Media BC, and their Economic Development Office also did a study, and they found out some really interesting information that the lower mainland in BC had a lot of people working in the digital media industry, which is not surprising. And the same thing happened in 2008, and there was a, there was a study done by Destination Winnipeg. 33% of them were... I'll get to that after. Um, <laughs> in 2008 in the U.S., uh, there's been a study ongoing for the last three years. Uh, anybody here read a list apart? Yeah. Okay, so the, you, you're familiar with the web design survey. They've been doing this self-reporting system where web designers can report in and talk about their jobs and all that sort of thing. Um, so why is this important? Why am I up here and talking to you about this tonight? And by the way, this guy's name is Y. Um, and if anybody's in the Ruby community, you'll understand that whole thing. Um, there's one he person here. Um, Toronto has this really interesting community. We've got the most tech-savvy connected communities in Canada. So where, why is this, why do we have the disp this disparity? Why doesn't this data exist? More updated data. And I thought a lot about, I thought a lot about that, and I, and I real, and it came to the realization that we have this community. We're we're really connected, and we're really powerful. We have an engaged citizen base. We're able to shape policy, and we're able to engage government. So the real question that I want to ask you tonight is. As people that work in the digital media industry, how do we work together to gather more data on this industry that we work in? How do we gather the statistical data and make it available to people? 
let's start the conversation. This is how you can touch me. That link at the bottom actually leads to a Google group where we're trying to understand what is digital media. So whoever asked that, that's going to be for you. Um, and I kind of want to leave you with one last thought when the slide ends. Bacon is awesome. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it.